Today we're going to do a short review on the Beretta 92A1. As you can see on the table here we have some of the finest and most iconic military and police service pistols the world over. Not only do we have the Beretta 92A1 in question, we also have the regular Beretta M9, the Sig Sauer P226, the Colt 1911, and the CZ 75B. I was also going to dig out my Glock 17, but I didn't really feel like it because it was at the bottom of my safe, covered under about, you know, 10 boxes of ammunition and all kinds of other shit, so I didn't really feel like digging it out. But anyway, the Beretta 92A1. This pistol is great. I love this pistol. Uh, I took it out today, and I was shooting it, and, um, you know, it's pretty similar to your standard Beretta M9. I mean, it's it's very similar to it. The only real differences that um, that I can see are, um, well, for one thing, you have the uh, the pick rail down here at the bottom for a light or some kind of other attachment, and also you have a rounded trigger guard as opposed to the um, the standard trigger guard on the uh, the M9. The biggest difference that I can see between uh, this Beretta 92A1 on the left and the standard Beretta M9 on the right is that the slide is much thicker and sturdier on the Beretta 92A1. Kind of reminds me of one of the old uh, Brigader slides when they used to make those. Um, let me stand these up real quick and show you what I'm talking about. You can really see it in the front here. I mean, look at that. Look how friggin' big the, uh, the slide is at the front on the 92A1 compared to the standard M9. That is ridiculous. And it's, a, it's the same story uh, everywhere else on the slide. The entire slide, not just the front of it, is thicker and heavier on the 92A1. Um, well, you know, you might be able to say, oh, well, that's a, that's a drawback, but, you know, because it adds weight to the weapon. I don't see it that way. Um, what I was feeling today when I was shooting this 92A1 with this thicker, heavier slide on it, it really, really uh, dissipated the recoil. Like, I mean, I know 9mm, you know, especially a, a big gun like, like the Beretta, there's not you know, a lot of recoil in the, the 9mm, but uh, when I was shooting this today, this thing felt like a 380 when I was shooting it because of that big slide. You know, that that real, that slide really uh, brings the recoil down. I, I really, really liked it. This was one of the first times that I, that I took this out, and, you know, I had recently also shot this, and I saw a big difference in the recoil um, between the M9 and this pistol. And uh, to be perfectly honest with you, um, I, I, I think I prefer this pistol in, in this configuration with the, uh, I mean, well, you can't, you can't lose without, uh, you can't lose with having the, uh, you know, the option of a, of a light attachment or something else. And uh, that slide, man, that, you know, that's really cool. You know, it, it, it really you know, kept the muzzle down and kept the gun on target. And, uh, you know, I was shooting it today and it was really accurate and I, I really enjoyed it. And, you know, these guns, they're... You know, they're the same price. Uh, these were, I think, between six fifty and seven hundred dollars, something like that. And uh, so the the gun was uh, incredibly accurate. Um, it shot flawlessly, and uh, I highly, highly recommend it. So anyway, that is my short review on the Beretta ninety two A one.